What's up guys, welcome to another deadbeat drum video. Today we're going to continue on with double bass drumming exercise in number 13. Like I've mentioned in my previous double bass drumming exercises, some key points you want to remember are drum throne height. Make sure you adjust your throne accordingly. You don't want to be sitting too high or too low on your throne. I like sitting anywhere between a 90 degree and a 45 degree angle. Also the distance from your throne is very important. You don't want to be sitting too close or too far away. Sitting too far might cause you to lean over because you're trying to reach cymbals and your toms, and in doing so, that might cause a little bit of lower back pain. You also don't want to sit too close, and by that I mean your knees are over your heels. That might cause some shin freeze or shin splits. That can be very uncomfortable at times. But the most important thing to remember when it comes to double bass drumming is to stay relaxed as possible. You do not want to tense up. So do your best to stay relaxed, breathe, and try not to tense up. We're gonna start off at 80 BPM, and then we're gonna move up to 90 BPM, and then we're gonna end it at 100 BPM. But before we get started with today's double bass drumming exercise, please do me a favor. Let's get to it. you enjoyed today's double bass drumming exercise. One thing about double bass drumming that you should keep in mind is that this doesn't come overnight. Be consistent with your practice. You're not going to become a speed demon overnight. So make sure you're consistent with your practice. And what I mean by that is putting in a little bit of practice every day if you can, even if it's 10, 15 minutes. Being consistent and having a good practice routine, what you're going to end up working on and developing is your muscle memory, and you're also going to develop more stamina. But most importantly, you have to be patient with yourself. Like I said, you're not going to become a speed demon overnight, so be patient with yourself. But most importantly, please remember to have fun when it comes to your drumming practice routine. Start things off slow and gradually work your way up. There's nothing wrong with doing things at a much slower tempo. What you're doing there is developing even better control at slower speeds. Playing slow can actually be hard as well. If you enjoyed today's double bass drumming exercise, please do me a favor. I'll see you in the next one.